morning girls it's claire welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am back with another lifestyle type video today i'm going to be doing a review it's not an unboxing i know you guys love my unboxing but today i'm not doing an unboxing i'm doing a review because i feel like the people need to know what you're getting yourself into if you do decide to purchase some beauty products from dollar tree but before we get into this video, I want you guys to go ahead and leave me a like because I'm hopefully saving you money by giving you the reel on these products I'm about to show y'all. I have about 10 products that I bought um, in the last, it was like a couple months ago, but you guys know I love some good skincare. Um, I always get compliments on my skin and that's honestly just the genetics God blessed me with. Um, it's not really any particular product but I do like keeping my skin fresh and clean and moisturized so I do love a good skincare product with that in mind I go to one of my favorite stores Dollar Tree everything used to be a dollar now it's a dollar 25 that's still a good deal for some stuff some stuff not as much but I go to Dollar Tree one day and I'm just like you know what I'm feeling a little crusty dusty musty I'm gonna do a glow up video glow up in a week video now you guys are probably like what because it's not on my channel because i started editing it got burnt out didn't like how it was coming out deleted the footage delete the video fast forward to now i'm like you know what let me make a video about this because i would have appreciated if i saw a video about these products that i wasted some of them i wasted my money on before i went out and bought them i just see myself 150 bucks um some of those products were facial cleaners creams um, lotions and masks so and the first cream I purchased was by Dermasil Labs um, this is what it looks like um, it's a all free daily facial cream with vitamin E it says it's supposed to be an intense moisturizer for softer and smoother uh, skin while relieving dryness and this is a day cream so they have a day cream and then they also have a night cream I found that both of them were just unsatisfactory um, I did not enjoy using these. They left my skin still feeling dry. I didn't expect the sun, the moon, and the stars for $1.25, don't get me wrong. Because I know there may be someone that's watching like, oh yeah, you thought I was going to do this, you thought I was going to do that for a dollar. No, I just wanted something and I thought it was going to be helpful to have this, especially since one was for the day, one was for the night, but it was not. Um, as you can see, it is open, so I have used it. I used it for about a week straight, and it just left my skin feeling super yuck after using it. So as you can see, like, it's not really absorbing into my skin. It's just kind of sitting on the skin. It's not really giving any additional moisture that it, it's advertised to. And then the fragrance. It smells like um, like a type of like floral scent, like a light floral scent. Um, it smells really cheap. Um, I just really didn't enjoy it. I would rate this one. Um, both of those creams get a one. They don't even get it to you. So then, after I got my creams, got everything, I was just like, hold on. I need something to clean my face with, something else to moisturize it with, and something to help with my eyes. I found this line of products from Dollar Tree. When I went to try the products, I was actually surprised by them. I didn't expect to be surprised. Uh, I didn't have the highest expectations, but I thought like the packaging was nice to be only $1.25. For starters, the facial cleanser, I thought it was pretty good. I thought that it cleaned my face. I thought that it didn't really have a bad smell to it. Let me check. So. So this is what it looks like it's like white I don't know if you guys can see but yeah it's like a white little cream um and it sets up really nice uh i deleted the footage i wish i could like reference the footage that i took that week when i was filming that video but i deleted it in haste i'm gonna work on that um but it foamed up really nice it didn't really um agitate my skin which i liked and you get like i said a fair amount for the price you get two fluid ounces of the cleanser and you don't need a lot like a little goes a long way I would literally use like maybe this much of the product um, every morning and sometimes every other night um, when I remember to use it and um, yeah it worked good and I feel like this is pretty good I would give this a three and a half out of five stars 
Next up, the skin cream. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I've used some of it. Uh oh, don't want it to spill out, but yeah. It's a fair consistency. It's not bad. Like, it does look, like, pretty good. Like, if you're, you know, just picking it up, you wouldn't really think too much of it. The smell, it doesn't really smell like anything. It almost reminds me of, like, like, kind of slime. It doesn't smell like slime, um, but it doesn't smell bad, you know. Um, it goes on just like this. Um, it's not very hydrating. Um, I feel like it's not worth the money. It's not horrible, but it just did not leave my skin feeling, excuse me, feeling as good as I thought it would, as I expected it to. So is it the worst? No. Is it the best? No. So for that, I'll give it a two out of five, but would I purchase it again? No. Um, the last part of the line is the eye cream. This is hands down what I was most excited for. Just to be very, very disappointed. Um, not only did the cream not help me, um, it also agitated my eyes. Um, the directions say, apply to clean skin until completely absorbed. Use daily, morning, and night for a hydrated and smooth looking youthful glow. For external use only, avoid contact with eyes, irritating to eyes. It is very irritating to your eyes, being that the product is designed to go, I believe, on your eyelids and your under eyes. So it's pretty crazy that it's so, um, not reactive, but it's so irritating to my eyes. Um, and I didn't even get it in my eye. I would literally just take a little bit. This is what it looks like. It's a little tiny nozzle. Ooh. Oh, I kind of make it in my eyes. Can you guys see that? I feel like the light is kind of bright um, on it but yeah that's what it looks like and I would literally just take it take a little um, fingertip amount and just go like that straight under my eye right here and it did not help it only irritated my eyes I did not like it at all so it's getting a one out of five for me I would definitely not buy it again nor would I recommend it I got this kissable deep cleansing foaming acne scrub and it's a, a salicylic acid uh, acne treatment you get four and a half ounces for a dollar twenty-five it is not a bad product the smell does smell kind of like um it definitely kind of smells factory-ish not gonna lie but I feel like it's a good product. I did not use it a whole. Ew. <laughs> that noise is atrocious. It is like a light brown. And you can see like little. Um, I don't know what you call it. It kind of looks like little minerals in it. I felt as if. It was helpful I just didn't use it consistently enough to really see the results that I wanted but I feel like I would buy this again I'm gonna keep it um, I am working on clearing up a little bit of acne that I have in different areas on my face and I think this will really help and the best part is it's only $1.25 whereas if you go with like a brand like Neutrogena or um, CeraVe or Cetaphil it would be at least nine to fifteen dollars probably and I'm gonna come back to this one and I'll definitely update you guys in a future video letting you guys know if I do stay consistent with it but I would give this product a four out of five great first impression it does not have a bad smell at all um, I feel like it's one of the better quality products that uh, beauty products that are available at Dollar Tree now for the last three products these were a part of my like little self-care night that i did um in the video i got some masks i got a foot mask i got a hand mask and i got a face mask now i'm going to tell you guys about these masks i don't have the physical product since i already opened it but i do have a picture of it on my phone so i'll insert it on the screen but the first one the f well i guess i should start with the face mask and then we'll go to the hands then the foot I think that makes the most sense right so like I said each $1.25 you get one for each so first up for the face mask this face mask was supposed to be a dupe of the Hydra Boost um I don't know if that's by Neutrogena I forgot what 
which brand it is but you guys know the blue hydro boost it's gotten really popular it works good it's a great great product right okay my mom ended up buying the face mask she bought the real thing so me being the budget friendly queen that i am i'm like no i'm not paying 350 or four dollars whatever however much it's like three or four dollars for those masks i'm like i'm not paying that much i'm gonna go to good old dollar tree get me a dupe and you know let it do its thing i put this mask on my face first impression it stunk i don't know what i don't know how i could describe the smell but it is not smell good it's not smell like anything that belongs on your face for one secondly as soon as i tried to put it on it was like jelly it was i'm trying to put it on my face it's sliding off my face it keeps sliding on my face i'm just like okay maybe i'm doing something wrong i like kind of like wipe my face off like that i put it on my face again it's still sliding off whole time i'm doing this I'm, i notice that my eyes start to burn literally burn like for real like eyes turning red like i don't know what product what chemical what factory they came out of but no it's, it's just a no for me my eyes were burning so bad so that was definitely a zero out of five for me. no stars for that one horrible 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 i'm gonna if i can find the picture i couldn't find it on the website but if i can find the picture of what it looks like in case it is available in stores do not buy it that is the one product i would definitely say fully 100 percent do not buy that product it will really irritate your skin at least that was my experience um especially if you have sensitive skin like i do it's not super sensitive but it is sensitive um it really it was very um irritating not only to use but also the feeling on my skin it was it was not quality at all okay the second mask i bought was the hand mask and this hand mask surprised me because it, it's by the be pure be pure brand it's uh, hand and nail gloves and it's touchscreen compatible which I liked because I was still able to be on my phone while I had the mask on you know for the little time they give you like five to ten minutes I think five to fifteen minutes maybe and I was able to relax I put my little glove on it was easy to put on you just open it like at the at the seam at the top of the glove and you just slide your hand in you like you know rub it get the wrinkles out so you can really get all that you know um, not nutrients but you can get the value you know of the glove so you put it on you relax uh, when the time's up you take it off and you just rub the little oils that are in the packet you rub them onto your hand and you're good it left my hands feeling moisturized feeling clean feeling good um, I enjoyed it I feel like I would definitely give that one a four out of five I don't know that I would give it a five out of five because I'm sure like the more expensive brands are you know better but to be a dollar 25 i had a great experience using it and i really love that i was still able to use my phone and the smell was not bad i don't remember exactly what it smelled like but i don't remember complaining about the smell so we're just going to say that it smelled pretty good um and yeah i enjoyed using it so i would definitely recommend those last but not least i tried their foot mask by the same brand be pure um and it was a lavender foot mask so the hand mask is like avocado um and the foot mask is more so lavender which i don't have a problem with um i'm not a huge fan of it but i don't have a problem with that i don't remember it having really an overbearing smell so if you're like a smell person like me that wasn't too big of a deal um, I slipped it on to my feet since my feet are larger I did kind of have a problem for it to fit how it's supposed to it was more so slanted to the side because my feet are you know larger than the average woman's foot size so it's probably made for like up to maybe a size nine foot and my feet are obviously not a size nine so it's kind of slanted to the side but I did feel like it was nice now was it as good as the hand mask in my opinion no but it did like help to hydrate my feet a little bit and I definitely still need a pedicure um, after using it but it was helpful I feel like this could be good like for like in between maintenance if you don't like want to do a whole soak and stuff on your feet but is it going to like let alone be enough new um, enough moisture and hydration that your feet need so they won't become like cracked and you know all that stuff no 
but it is a good product um, I'd give it a three out of five I feel like it's a good product it could be better but um, I think personally it was more so that my feet are a little bit larger than the foot size the mask is intended for so I think that was more so the problem than the actual product itself I may end up trying it again those were all the products I bought for my glow up in one week challenge um, or aka Dollar Tree beauty products. Um, I had fun testing them and I had fun reviewing them with you guys so I can keep you guys in the know. I want to tell you guys about what I'm buying if I like it or if I don't like it and the best part is I'm giving you guys my raw honest opinion because I'm not sponsored, I'm not endorsed, I'm not affiliated in any way so I can let you guys know how I truly feel without having to worry about you know any contracts or legal obligations or anything like that this is my true opinion on these products and if you do decide to buy them let me know what your experience was um especially if you tried the ones that i really liked let me know what your experience was um and if you guys want to see more videos like these then you need to leave a like you gotta leave a like so i can know that you like this video and you want to see more like it I did buy some Dollar Tree hair care products that I can review for y'all. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and want to see more videos like these, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below which product you would try. Um, or if you have tried any of the products, which ones would you recommend? Because I just want to hear back from you guys. I love hearing your feedback. And I post every um, Tuesday and Friday. Uh, at least every Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then. Until the next time. Bye, guys. No. Ooh. That was scary.